What's up? My name is Amit. This is my 2018 BMW M3. The original plan was to get an M2 Comp, but I saw this pop up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. This guy in Massachusetts looked like he took pretty good care of the car, had a few bolt-ons on, made a deal with him, and I never looked back. So this is my only car. I daily it. In the winter, if it's snowing, I'm obviously not taking it out. Around the roads around here, you just gotta know how to maneuver. It's not that hard. I could get up some crazy driveways. You just need to get used to driving low cars, avoiding potholes, it should be fine. So underneath the engine bay, we got a Moselman thermostat. One of these black line oil filter housings, VRSF charge cooler, VRSF charge pipes. I did have dining intakes in here. I just put back the stock ones with the uh, AFE drop-in. Uh, I think those suit better for this car, to be honest. I got a titanium J pipe on this side, CSF heat exchanger, VRS of down pipes, and it also has four pin keyed crank hub by Farley Eurotech that installed it. For the first year, I was just really driving underneath the OTS CS tune, but now I'm doing a custom F80 Paul tune, making around 530 on 93. I do have another map. I'm not saying how much it's making on that map, but yeah. That's pretty much it for performance wise, that's it. Cosmetic wise, I have a CS style lip with a Euro Customs PR splitter. Everyone asks me about this splitter. It saved my lips so many times. I haven't had any issues with this lip because of that splitter, but before this splitter, I, I was running through like four or five lips. <laughs> I got the yellow DRLs straight from AliExpress. It wasn't that hard, you just take out the module, bang out the other board, JB Weld the other one on. Save your money, go to AliExpress. Favorite part about this whole build is really just the wheels. I got these T37s, M-Spec, 19 by 11 in the back, 19 by nine and a half in the front. I think it just suits this car so well. I don't like the uh, T37 uh, center cap, so I just put the BMW ones back on. I like the fitment of the car. It's usable in this area that we live in, but when I did have the 666M wheels, that was an issue. I was scraping a lot. I was bending wheels for sure. So these T37s, they just made it perfect. So we got M Performance side skirts from the factory and performance mirror caps from the factory. I have a CS style spoiler. These are actually CS taillights from a CS. I have a PSM style diffuser and performance exhaust with and performance tips from the factory. So I got the red interior which was a selling point for me on this car, for real. Has extended leather, has the uh, M Performance steering wheel with the LED light on it. If you come over here, it has a little fun button. That's for the fun. The way the car is set up performance-wise and cosmetic-wise, it's pretty much done. If anything else, I'd probably just do the CS hood. But other than that, I feel like the car is pretty much done for me. So the blue M2 that I had, I mean, I love that car. I initially would have never sold it if I didn't get an offer on it. That car was a super light, super nimble, easy to maneuver around the back roads. But still, this car just a little bit better, a little bit more power, it's more usable. The M2 got tiring after like long travels, but still, I love both of these cars equally. So the car also has a KW Hass kit that my cousin had installed. And when I installed that, I did get a feeling of the M2 back in this car and when I put that suspension on. I mean, obviously Porsche is the next step as a Beamer owner, but sometimes I think about Audi R8, sometimes you just never know what the future holds. But right now, I'm sticking to BMW. Every single car that I ever owned was a BMW. They're just usable, they're just fun. You could slide it, you could race it. A four-door sedan that's fast as hell. Super versatile, love this car. Any future owners looking in the market, I would say just make sure a lot of the maintenance is done. Crank hub if you're really serious about it. I mean, if the previous owner took good care of it or not, sometimes it would be better to have one that's, you know, never messed with, but there's not too much to worry about these cars. This, this has been the most reliable BMW I ever owned. I mean, 
these cars are solid. I love the M340. I mean, it's cool that it has X drive. I don't drive it in wintertime per se, but in an ideal situation, if you have a daily in this car, I would do that. If I had to choose one, maybe the M340, but still nothing can top the S55 in this car at all. So this was my 2018 M3. If you want to follow the build, you can follow me at badmon underscore M3. If you have any questions about the build, you can leave it down in the comments and I'll reply to it. Thank you.